Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve the 27th question from CBSE Class 10, 2023-24. Sample question paper set 2 for Mathematics Standard with subject code 041. Section C where each question is of 3 marks. Now this question has an OR question as well, which we will be discussing in the same video. And this question is from pair of linear equations in two variables chapter. The area of a rectangle reduces by 160 meters square if its length is increased by 5 meters and breadth is reduced by 4 meters. However, if the length is decreased by 10 meters and breadth is increased by 2 meters, then its area is decreased by 100 meters square. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. So let us first write down the formula for area of a rectangle. So here we have considered that length is equal to x meters, breadth is taken as y meters and the area of rectangle is given by the formula length times breadth and hence in turn it becomes x times y is equal to area of rectangle. Now let us concentrate on case 1 where the area of rectangle reduces by 160 meters square, length is increased by 5 meters and breadth is reduced by 4 meters. So for the case 1, the length is increased by 5 meters. So here since we took the length as x and x is increased by 5 meters, so we are going to write it as x plus 5. And the breadth is reduced by 4 meters and breadth is considered as y. So we are going to say y minus 4. So when they say increased, you have to add and when it is given reduced or decreased, you have to subtract. Now let us see how we are going to write the area of the rectangle. Now length we got it as x plus 5, so let us write x plus 5 multiplied with breadth is y minus 4 is equal to area of the rectangle we had seen it was x times y and in case 1 the area is getting reduced by 160 meters square. So we are going to write here xy minus 160 since it is getting reduced. Now we are going to expand this bracket. So x times y is xy and x times minus 4 gives us minus 4x and then 5 times y gives us plus 5y and plus 5 times minus 4 gives us minus 20 is equal to xy minus 160. Next, now xy from both the sides will subtract each other so xy and xy we can cancel and we are left with minus 4x plus 5y and let us take minus 20 on the other side of equal to sign so we get minus 160 and minus 20 becomes plus 20. Now let us further simplify this we are going to get it as minus 4x plus 5y is equal to minus 160 and plus 20 gives us minus 140. Now let us consider this as our equation 1 this is for case 1. Now let us consider the case 2 where the length is decreased by 10, breadth is increased by 2 and area is decreased by 100 meters square. So we are going to write here in a similar fashion. So for the case 2 we have written the length has decreased by 10 so x minus 10, breadth has increased by 2 so y plus 2 and length times breadth. Length is x minus 10 times breadth is y plus 2 is equal to now area is reduced by 100 as it is given over here so area is going to be xy minus 100 next we are going to expand this bracket that is x times y is xy and x times plus 2 is plus 2x and minus 10 times y is minus 10y and minus 10 times plus 2 gives us minus 20 this is equal to xy minus 100. Similarly, as it was in the previous case, the xy and xy from both the side will subtract each other and we are left with 2x minus 10y and let us take the minus 20 on the other side of equal to sign. So we get minus 100 and minus 20 changes to plus 20. So here we are going to get 2x minus 10y is equal to minus 100 plus 20 gives us minus 80. Now let us consider this equation as equation 2. Now let me write both the equations together. 
So here the equation 1 and equation 2 both I have written together. And to get the value of x and y, we are going to perform simultaneous equations using elimination method. So I'm going to multiply the entire second equation by 2. So the first equation remains unchanged. So here it is going to be minus 4x plus 5y is equal to minus 140. And now the second equation, all the terms are going to get multiplied by 2. So 2 times 2x gives us 4x and 2 times minus 10 gives us minus 20y is equal to 2 times minus 80 gives us minus 160. Now let us just add the terms. Here it is going to be minus 4x and plus 4x which means both the terms are going to get cancelled and plus 5y and minus 20y when we add them we are going to get it as minus 15y is equal to now minus 140 and minus 160 is going to give us minus 300. So here we are going to find out the value of y is equal to minus 300. Minus 15 goes on the other side and divides the minus 300. So here the minus and minus cancels and 15 1 times and 15 20 times gives us 300. So the value of y is 20 which means the breadth of this given rectangle is 20 meters. Now using the breadth we can find out the length that is the x. So choose any one of the equations. So I'm going to choose the second one that is 2x minus 10y equal to minus 80. Let me write here. So choosing the second equation. Now we are going to just substitute the value of y as 20 in this given expression. So here 2x minus 10 times 20 is equal to minus 80. So for the solving this we get 2x minus 10 times 20 is 200 is equal to minus 80. Now taking the minus 200 on the other side of equal to sign we get 2x is equal to minus 200 turns to be positive 200 minus 80 which is going to be 2x is equal to 120 or the 2 divides the 120 so 120 over 2 gives us 60 which is 60 meters so the length of this rectangle we have got it as 60 meters so the length is 60 meters and the breadth is 20 meters so once we found out the length and breadth we have found out the dimensions of this given rectangle now let us move on to the or question now the OR question is also from pair of linear equations in two variables chapter. If 16 is subtracted from twice the greater of the two positive numbers, the result is half the other number. If 1 is subtracted from half the greater number, the result is still half the other number. Find the two numbers. So let us consider that there are two numbers A and B. And let us assume that A is the greater of the two numbers. So let me write here. So consider the two positive numbers as A and B and assume that A is the greater of the two numbers. Now here also we are going to see two cases. Now let us start with case 1. Now pay attention to the given words. If 16 is subtracted from twice the greater of the two positive numbers. Now here we have assumed that A is the greater of two numbers. So twice the greater number means we are going to write it as 2 times A. That is twice the greater number. And 16 is getting subtracted from twice the greater number. So 2A minus 16. So when 16 is getting subtracted from twice the greater number, the result is half the other number. So this will be equal to half times the other number so here the other number we have considered is b so it is going to be 1 over 2 times b so this is the mathematical representation of the given statement now here simply we have to start solving it by taking the common lcm so i'm going to divide 2a by 1 and 16 by 1 and since we have 2 in the denominator here i'm going to multiply here by 2 here by 2 and same thing I'm going to do with 16. So 16 times 2 and 1 times 2. Now 2 times 2a gives us 4a over 2 minus 16 times 2 gives us 32 over 2. 
is equal to 1 times b is b over 2. Now for the simplifying this we are going to write since the denominators are same we can combine the numerators. So 4a minus 32 over 2 is equal to b over 2. Now since the denominators are same on both the left hand side and right hand side we can just cancel them off or divide them with each other and we are left with 4a minus 32 is equal to b. Now I am going to take the letters on one side of the equal to sign and numbers on the other side. So here 4a b comes over to the left hand side and it becomes minus b and sending minus 32 on the right hand side we are going to get it as positive 32. Let us consider this as equation 1. Next we are concentrating on the case 2. Now again pay attention to the statement. If 1 is subtracted from half the greater number and here we have assumed that a is the greater number. So half the greater number means we are going to write it as 1 over 2a and 1 is getting subtracted from this number. So half of a minus 1 and the result is still, so this is still equal to half the other number. So 1 over 2 of b because b is the other number. So similarly here also we are going to take the LCM and only the missing number over here is 1 over 1. So here I am going to multiply 1 by 2 and 1 by 2. So here we are going to get 1 times a is a over 2 minus 1 times 2 is 2 over 2 is equal to 1 times b is b over 2. Now here again a minus 2 I am going to combine it because the denominators are same. So a minus 2 over 2 is equal to b over 2 and the denominators are same on the left hand side and right hand side. So we can divide them with each other and we are left with a minus 2 is equal to b. Now again I am going to take the letters on one side of the equal to sign and the numbers on the other side. So b comes over to the left hand side and we get a minus b and minus 2 moves on the other side of the equal to sign and it turns out to be positive 2. Now let us consider this as equation 2. Now again we are going to perform the simultaneous equations of these two equations. So let me write them together. So 4a minus b equal to 32 and a minus b equal to 2. Now here one simple method is since in equation 1 and equation 2 we have b as our variable. It becomes very easy if we change the sign of the second equation completely. So plus a we will change it to minus a. Minus b we will change it to plus b and plus 2 we will change it to minus 2. Make sure that you are changing the signs of each and every term in equation 2. You can also do it for equation 1 the same way. But here I am considering it for equation 2. So here 4a minus 1a we are going to get it as 3a and minus b and plus b will add up to 0. So they will cancel each other. And this will be equal to 32 minus 2 that gives us 30. So we have 3a equal to 30. So we can easily find out the value of a now. So a is equal to 30 and 3 moves on the other side of equal to sign and it divides the 30. So 30 divided by 3 is 10. So we got the value of the first number as 10. Now either you use the equation 1 or equation 2 to find out the value of b. Choose the easier equation. So I'm going to choose the second equation which is easier. So it is going to be a minus b is equal to 2. So here we have got the value of a as 10 minus b is equal to 2. So I'm going to send the minus b on this side and taking 2 on the left hand side. We get 10 minus 2 is equal to positive b. So the value of b is nothing but 10 minus 2 which is 8. So the two numbers in this given question were 10 and 8. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example, do comment below. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.